What's up YouTube? It's Rick again with another video. So I know it's been a while since I last posted about sports cards, so I apologize on that. I've been busy at work as usual, and I've also been uh, diversifying my investment portfolio. So not just sports cards, but stocks, cryptos, and recently got into real estate, but that's a whole different topic. So for today, I got another batch back from HGA. So this was sent around three and a half months ago, 60 business days, which is three months. So they were a bit, a bit behind by a couple of weeks. Uh, but what's interesting for this submission is HGA actually sent me an email about my card. So they set up a phone appointment to discuss my submission. So to make a long story short, I spoke with one of their managers on what happened. So what happened was uh, they damaged one of my cards during the slabbing process. So it's uh, this LeBron prism, red, white, and blue. So what the HGA manager, uh, we'll call him Mr. C, what Mr. C told me was one of the edges in the back was damaged. So it knocked the grade for the edge by uh, 0.5. So Mr. C offered me either a full refund, which is the declared value I put in, which is $50, plus the grading fee, which is $20. So $70 total refund, and they keep the card. And the other option is a partial refund of $35, and I keep the card. Of course, I asked what the overall grade of the card was after the damage, and it was still a 9, so I decided to keep the card. And as an FYI, I only spent under $25 to uh, get this card. So I got this from eBay uh, for $21. And the fact that they're paying me $35, so that means I already made some money and I still get to keep the card. So I am interested in seeing up close what the LeBron card looks like, if the damage is obvious or not. But before we proceed, I would like to announce the winner from our previous giveaway from this video. The winner had to predict how many wins the Japan men's basketball team will get. And the prize was a Rui Prism rookie card. So the answer was zero and six of you got it correct. So I used a random selector and the winner is ATS channel. So zero wins for Japan. So just send me a message on Instagram and we can ship over the cards. We are also close to 500 subscribers, so we will have a 500 subscriber giveaway. So winner gets to choose one of these cards, either the Iverson 96 Fleer Metal, PSA 8, or the Devin Booker 2016 Studio PSA 8. So just need to subscribe to the channel uh, we will be randomly selecting the winner from our subscriber list. So make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. So we now proceed with our HGA reveal. So our first card is a Lamello Ball. So this is from Prism Draft Picks. So this is the uh, green Prism. So we got a 9.5. Gem Mint, so 9.5 for corner surface centering, edges uh, 9. And next we got a pair of uh, Jamoran rookie cards. First one is from Prism, so we got a 9 Mint. So the next one is a Jamoran from uh, Hoops Premium Stock. So this is a Silver Prism, so also a Mint 9. So up next is our LeBron, but um, before we take a close look with LeBron, we'll just move with to our Jordan card from 0304 Upper Deck Air Academy. So um, the reason I sent this card is I already had the LeBron uh, version. So this is uh, LeBron's uh, rookie year, so uh, I thought it would be cool to have both. Uh, Jordan and LeBron uh, graded by HGA. So fortunately, it also got a Gemmit 
So we'll put this here. So this will be part of my PC. Now we move on to our LeBron Prism Red, White and Blue. That was damaged during the slabbing process, so it still got a grade of 9. Mint corners are 9.5, surface 9, centering 9.5, and the edges 8.5. Like what the HGA representative, Mr. C, told us, uh, initially the edges was a 9, but then the upper uh, back right near the corner uh, got uh, damage during the slabbing process. So uh, we'll have a closer look here. So what he told me was it's in the upper upper right side, right corner. So you do see some whitening here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, but there's a bit of some whitening. It's not too obvious there. So we can even use a, a magnifying glass. So... So yeah, you can see it a bit here, some whitening, uh, but it's not too obvious, so I think I made a good decision of just getting the card, so it's still a it's still got a grade of 9, which is mint, and I did get a partial refund of 35 bucks, plus they also paid for my shipping, um, and plus considering I only paid $21 for this LeBron and the fact that they paid me 35 bucks. So uh, I think I made the proper decision. So what do you guys think? Should I have gotten a total refund of $70? Or uh, did I make the right decision of 35 bucks? Uh, but overall, I, I have to say that I'm impressed with the customer service from HGA. If they did not reach out to me about the damage even if it was just minor i probably wouldn't have noticed so i appreciate them for doing uh, the right thing by reaching out and making things right for the customer